finally tonight, one of the unwritten rules, I believe, of my job is to teach our sports interns. Little did I know I'd learned so much from one of them. Alex Perkett, an intern from Riverside, eventually became a colleague. And when he died yesterday, I was proud to say he was truly one of my best friends. He wasn't your normal college intern. When I met Alex Perkett three years ago, he was 30, married with two children, Jordan and Abby. In the summer of 04, we were leaving for a story. He stopped to grab his crutches. I thought it'd be an appropriate time to ask, Alex, why do you limp? His answer changed my life. See, Alex had hip cancer eight years ago. He beat it, and he was back to follow his dream, to make it on TV. Curtis, the Lakers are on a free fall that a skydiver would be proud of. With Alex shadowed me on various stories, constantly working on his writing and delivery. And early in 2006, he made it. Alex landed an on-air job in Great Falls, Montana. But five months later, cancer called him back to UCLA for more chemotherapy and eventually shoulder surgery. Our producer, Mike Parker, let Alex shave his head. You see, Alex limped into our lives and showed us how to stand tall as it relates to living. In March, his rare cancer moved into his lungs and spread like wildfire. While I taught Alex a little bit about TV, he taught me much more about life, about living day to day. Yesterday, the LA Kings and Dodgers lost one of their biggest fans. His 11-year fight with cancer is over. Keeping his spirit alive has just begun. And a telecommunications scholarship has been established in Alex's name. You can click onto our website at abc7.com. Learn more about it. Gonna miss that man, as you guys well know. Kurt, thank you. Right. Thank you. We'll be right back.